Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, all honor, all glory to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shah Bahasham Rakakwadash. A hey, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching me this truth according to the Bible through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shah. And a sincere peace and salutation to all you hope for the let I get out there pushing his word in all truth and sincerity. Doing the work as Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shah has commanded you to do. So he can wake up and seal the elect of the nation of Israel, which consists of you so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, and you Israelites who are scattered amongst the heathen nations that may look like the heathen nations, but your father's seed line goes back to you being the so called black, Hispanic, and Native American, one of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. Shalom. It's your brother Halakia from the GMS Denver camp coming back once again through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah with another video. And this time I want to uh, go with, into what's about to take place upon the planet Earth, man. Because these people are still walking around thinking that America is going to continue on for another 500 years and, and, and everything except for what, the, for what the most highest plan is going to play out. You know, and, that's go, and that goes into the pride of these, these mortals, man. That's the pride of these mortals. So I want to start right here in Jeremiah 23 and 5 and just get right into it. It says what? Behold, the days come, saith the Ahabashim Yahweh Shah, that I will raise unto David a righteous branch, and a king shall reign and prosper. And shall execute judgment and justice in the earth. And this is what Yahweh Shah is coming to do, man. You see? Yahweh Shah is coming to execute judgment and justice on the earth according to the will of the, uh, of the Heavenly Father Yahweh. Because what the Most High wants on this earth is not a kingdom established in wickedness under Satan. This new world order that Esau is trying to push forth. You see? That he's moving in great haste to try to accomplish. That's not what the Most High is dealing with, man. The Heavenly Father Yahweh is going to send his only begotten son, Yahweh Shah, back. To take down these wicked elite and to destroy the new world order right along with their beast system. And, and, and our king is going to establish a kingdom of righteousness on the earth, man. And this is what the true believers of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh are looking for, crying for, praying for, begging for, man. And the Lord is going to do it. Why? It's because that is his will. You see? Everything the Most High has spoken, he's going to bring it to pass, man. No matter what you fucking mortals have to say about it. No matter how you may feel about it. Because at the end of the day, the only thing that matters is the will of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah coming to pass. And it will come to pass in its perfection, man. You see? Let's go to it. Because this isn't going to be very long, but this is what Yahweh Shah is coming to do. When you go to Isaiah chapter 2, and you go also get this on Micah chapter 4 as it tells you as the precept above it, right? So this is Isaiah chapter 2 verse 1. The word that Isaiah the son of Amos saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem. And it shall come to pass in the last days that the mountain of Yahweh's house shall be established in the top of the mountains. Matter of fact, let's get that in. Let's get it in Micah. Let's get it in Micah. This is uh, Micah 4 and 1. But in the last days it shall come to pass that the mountain of the house of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah shall be established in the top of the mountains and it shall be exalted above the hills and people shall flow unto it why it's because the government of israel led by yahweh shah king david and the rest of the 144,000, is going to be that governing body the top government on the earth man you see and all nations are going to flow unto it to do what to learn the righteous way which are the way the law statutes and commandments of yahweh Shemel shah we are going to teach the world we are going to teach the world righteousness man as the world has learned nothing but wickedness on the Esau Edom, you see, led by the wicked elite, they've learned nothing but wickedness, man. But hey, when Yahweh Shah returns, all that is going to be cast down. And we're going to execute judgment and justice in the earth as the Most High has called for. Verse 2 says what? And many nations shall come and say, Come and let us go up to the mountain of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah and to the house of the power of Jacob. And he will teach us of his ways, and we will walk in his paths. For out of, for the law shall go forth of Zion, and the word of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah from Jerusalem. And that's what's going to be happening when the Lord returns, man. And as we can see, that's not happening right now, letting us know that those people who dwell in the land of Israel today are not the Israelites. They are not the chosen people of the Lord, because if they were, the, the Messiah would be amongst them, King David would be back, and the 144,000 would, would be governing the earth. In righteousness as the prophecy calls for you see 
The prophecy calls for in the last days the government of Yahweh Shemel Shah, that righteous government, to be established above all governments, and all the nations are going to come learn the righteous ways of Yahweh Shemel Shah. That's not happening. Why? Because the Israelites are still in captivity, waiting for the Lord to come and redeem them. You see? So we can establish the righteousness of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah in the earth. Because that's what the will of the Most High calls for. Verse 3 says what? And he shall judge among many people and shall rebuke strong nations afar off. You see that? And why is that? It's because we have to teach us all, we have to teach them our ways. We have to teach them righteousness. We gotta understand. These all these nations have been le learning for the last uh Millennia is wickedness, man. They don't know what righteousness is. So we're going to be doing a, a lot of judging. A lot of people are going to be put to death because they're going to be going off. We got to make examples of them according to the law. You see? So we can instill fear in the people, man. And it says what? And they shall beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks. Nations shall not lift up sword against nation, neither shall there be war anymore. Like, like, neither shall they learn war anymore. So with the Israelites being in power, that's going to cause peace to come on the earth, man. No unnecessary wars, man. Shit, no war whatsoever, man. All the weapons of war are going to be destroyed. They're going to be turned into agriculture tools because that's what you heathen, heathens are going to need to cultivate our gardens, man. To grow up our vineyards. You see? Ain't going to be no more uh, creating weapons of mass destruction, man. Ain't going to be no more uh, uh, creating AK-47s or whatever other firearms these devils coming up with, man. All that is going to be done away with when Yahweh shall returns and the nations shall learn war no more, man. There's going to be peace on the earth. And that only comes when the Israelites are back in power, man. You see? Verse 4 says what? Yeah, verse 4. But they shall sit every man under his vine and under his fig tree, and none shall make them afraid. For the mouth of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shav hosts have spoken it. And that's what's coming to the nation of Israel, man. Complete peace, rest, finally, man, in our kingdom. You see, in our sovereignty, man, having dominion over the entire planet Earth, we're going to be at risk, man. No one is going to make war against us. We can't say the same thing for the, uh, 48 who, the 1948ers who are dwelling in that land now because everybody wants to destroy them, man. That's not going to be a thing once the Israelites are in the kingdom of heaven, man. We are going to be in rest. No one is going to come up against us, man. You see? Verse 5 says, What? For all people will walk everyone in the name of his God, and we will walk in the name of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh our power forever and ever. You see? And that's what it's going to be. And when it's all said and done, man, we're going to cast away the idols of the heathen nations. We're going to destroy all the nation's idols, man. And the only one who will be worshipped uh, worship on this planet Earth is Yahweh Bashem Yahweh man. Verse 6 says what? And that day, said Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, will I assemble her that halted, and I will gather her that is driven out, and her that I have afflicted. Talking about who? The remnant of the nation of Israel. He's going to come and gather us back, man. And that's what's happening right now. He's gathering us back right now through the Holy Spirit, first and foremost, and then physically when Yahweh Shah returns, man. Verse 7 says what? And I will make her that halted a remnant, and her that was cast off. So, and, and her that was cast far off a strong nation. And Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah shall reign over them in Mount Zion from henceforth even forever. You see that? We're going to be brought up under that everlasting covenant, the second covenant, which is only for the nation of Israel, being made immortal, having the law, statutes, commandments put into our minds. You see? And that's how the Most High is going to make us a strong nation, man. We will never sin again. We will never go off again. So the Most High will never have a reason to destroy the Israelites ever again, man. We're going to prosper and flourish forevermore in our kingdom. And this is what the Most High is about to set up on the earth, man. You see, our kingdom is next. Our rulership is next, man. And it's an everlasting dominion. You see? That shall never be destroyed as it is written, man. Verse 8 says what? O thou, O tower of the flock, the stronghold of the daughter of Zion, unto thee shall it come, even the first dominion. The kingdom shall come to the daughter of Jerusalem. And that's what's fastly approaching, man. This is what we see happening right before our eyes. You see these, these, these Edomites, beginning with their wicked elite, they're having their power taken from them, man. Because it was never set up for the so-called white race to rule on the planet Earth forevermore, man. So your kingdom was temporary. It was, it, was, it was set up for a purpose, man. 
And now that purpose is almost fulfilled, and now it's time for you to be taken out of the way. So what? So the true kingdom can be established on the earth, man. The kingdom of heaven, led by Yahweh Shah and the 144,000, man. That's what's about to come. That's what's about to happen. That's, hey, that's what's taking place. You see, what we see now is a transition of power, man. The kingdom is being translated. Hey, <laughs> let's get it. Call her like I'm like how about Shemiah Shah. That's Sirach chapter 10, verse 8. Because what's happening right now is this. Sirach 10 and 8, or Ecclesiastes chapter 10, verse 8. Because of unrighteous dealings, injuries, and riches got by deceit, the kingdom is translated from one people to another. And that's exactly what's happening, man. For all the rape, robbery, and murder, all the atrocities, man, all the slavery. You see? How you eat them is built your kingdom up, man. For how you built your kingdom up, now it's being taken away from you to be given to another people, which is who? Which is us, man, the Israelites. The ones you try to uh the ones you try to keep down in, in, in an oppressed state, man. The ones you try to keep blinded from who they really were. See, what you didn't count on was the most I sent his Holy Spirit down through his only begotten saying Yahweh Shah. And now we're back through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shah, Yahweh Shah telling you damn devils that you are going down, man. You see? That your rulership is at its end. You only have a few seconds left, man. A few seconds. You see? And that's how, was, that's how it was meant to be. You were never set up to be uh, rulers of the earth forever, man. But the Most High is fair. He gave all you heathen nations a, a time, a portion of time to rule on the earth. And now it's over. And now it's time for the Most High's people to rule on the earth forevermore to show you how it was done, man. And righteousness through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah. You see? It was always set up for us to come and have the, 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 the last and final kingdom to ever grace the planet earth, man. You see, a righteous kingdom, the, 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 uh, the perfect kingdom, man. You see that? So this is what's happening. And you devils are mad, but guess what? There's nothing you can fucking do about it. You're going down. Suck it the fuck up and deal with it, just like we had to. You see? It was always ordained for you damn devils to go down, man. Why do why, why you think the, 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 uh, the birth of Esau and Jacob happened the way it happened? That was, it was signifying how you damn devils would be taken down, man. And, we're about, and, and we are right, hey, Yahweh Shah is right around the corner, man. Let's get this real quick. This is 2nd Ezra chapter 6, verse 7. Then I then answered I and said, what shall be the pardon asunder of the times? Or when shall be the end of the first and the beginning of it that follows? So as we all are inquiring, as uh, uh, I have inquired in times past, when the kingdom of heaven was going to come, the prophet Ezra is doing the same thing. When is going to be the end of the first? The first what? The first heaven and the first earth. As you read about in Revelation 21. That's talking about the rulership we're under right now, man. The heathen rulership. <laughs> under Esau, Edom. You see? It says what? Then I answered and said, What shall be the part of us under other times? Or when shall be the end of the first? And the beginning of it that followeth. So Ezra is asking about the transition of kingdoms, man. When is this going to happen? Verse 8 says what? And he said unto me, From Abraham unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau were born of him, Jacob's hand held first the hill of Esau. You see that? Because you can go back to the history and check that out, man. Esau came out first, and directly after Esau came out, Jacob grabbed, it, grabbed his hill, man. That was symbolic. You see? Or what's taking place right now before your eyes. Verse 9 says what? For Esau is the end of the world or the end of the age and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth, man. That's what that represented, man. You see? Directly after Esau's rulership is the kingdom of heaven. Directly after Esau's rulership is the rulership of the Israelites led by Yahweh Shah, man. Our Lord, our King, man. You see? I'm talking directly after. Ain't no oh, Esau going uh, to go down and uh, uh, China going to be raised up. No, man. Directly after this motherfucker Esau goes down in this time here, the kingdom of heaven is going to be established, man. So we can push forth what? Push forth the righteous ways of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah and get the earth back on the right track through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah, man. You see? Let's get one more. Obadiah 1 and 21. It says you the same thing. Matter of fact, let's get the, let's get the first verse. Obadiah 1 and 1, it says what? The vision of Obadiah, 
Thus said Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai concerning Edom. So this book, this whole book of Obadiah is directed toward the Edomites, man. Telling you of your future, man. What's going to happen to you? This lets us know that the Edomites have not been done away with yet. You see? Because if that's the case, we will be in the kingdom of heaven. Because directly after Esau's rulership would be the rulership of the Israelites. So are we in the kingdom of heaven? Is this is this a righteous kingdom? Is the righteous is, is the righteous laws of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah being pushed forth from Jerusalem? No, it's not. And why is that? It's because we're not in the kingdom of heaven. This is not this is not Jacob's rulership. We're still in Esau's rulership, waiting for this motherfucker to be taken down. You see. So Esau is still here. You see, prophecies concerning the Edomites still have to come to pass. So we're gonna jump down to the last verse. So Obadiah 1 and 21 says what? And saviors shall come up on Mount Zion to judge the Mount of Esau. You hear that? So the Mount of Esau, the house of Esau, or, or the let's let's say it like this: the government, the heads of the government of Esau, which are the, the elite bankers, the elite international bankers, the Rothschilds, the Rockefellers, the crusty ass crackers, man. You know what I'm saying? That's that's controlling all the money, how, how everything is flowing on the earth. You see? Saviors have to come up on the Mount Zion to judge the Mount of Esau, man. So these devils have to be judged. Letting you know <laughs> this hasn't taken place yet. These, these elites are still squirming around in the earth, man. It says what? So directly after the Mount of Esau is judged, what happens? And the kingdom shall be Yahweh's. Letting us know. Letting us know that directly after Esau, Esau's rulership, the kingdom is going to be given over to the Most High. And we read in uh, Micah chapter 4 what's supposed to be happening when the government of the Most High is set up in the earth. And is that happening? Is righteousness flourishing on the earth? Are the people rejoicing or are the people mourning? They're mourning, man. So Esau is still here, controlling. Hey, he's controlling. Hey, Job 9 and 24, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Right? You know what I'm saying? For right now. But he's still in power right now. And Yahweh Shah is coming to take him down, man. You see? And, and give the kingdom over to who? The heavenly father, Yahweh. So this is what's about to take place. And it's, and it's happening right now before our eyes, man. The, the, the greatest transition of power the world has ever seen is taking place right before you, man. You see? These damn Edomites, they are going down and our kingdom is next, man. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Thus say if Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. So with that, I'm going to give all praise, all honor, all glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, and Kakwadash. A double honor to the apostles and others of great millstone for teaching me this truth according to the Bible through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. And the sincere peace and salutation to all you hopefully let Akim out there pushing his word in all truth and sincerity, doing the work as Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah has commanded you to do. With that, I'm going to say Shalom, Wah, Abba, Abba.